Namaste. Welcome to the series of Chair Yoga by Sandeep Solanke. Most of the time we wear shoes which doesn't allow freedom to come to the feet. The feet are being clogged, tight, congested and in one position for too long. If I go to the office and if I am wearing the shoe at 9, maybe by the time I come home, it's in the evening, maybe about 7, 8, 9, 10. So about 8 to 12 to 16 hours I am constantly wearing the shoes. This allows the structure of the foot changing. If I am constantly wearing something very tight, the structure of the foot changes. And that's the reason why it is very important to bring mobility at the ankle region. Because when I'm constantly only doing this movement, the other movement which is required in the ankle starts decreasing. And the stiffness in the ankle can set in. So there are two simple practices to stretch the ankle area. The first one is bringing mobility at the ankle like doing a circular motion of the ankle or the rotations of the ankle. But when we do this, we are going to use the support of the palm and the fingers so that we can maintain the space between the toes also. As we sit or when we are walking with the shoes continuously on, the toes starts coming closer to each other. It's very important to stretch the toes also away from each other. So this first important stretch for the ankle will also bring space between the toes which is also very important. So for this we will place the ankle I'm placing my right ankle on the right knee and then what I do is I hold my fingers and place the left hand fingers between all the toes of the right foot like this can you see so the space which decreases while wearing shoes for a long time or wearing a particular sandals for a long time we want to increase the space so that's the reason why I'm putting the fingers between the toes. I'm holding it like this. And then I will hold, use my right ankle to hold the right palm to hold the right ankle. Why? Because I don't want the foot to move. This is what I'm holding. Now I'm going to start moving or doing an ankle rotation. Remember, when I'm doing this, it is not just this movement. I'm also using my left palm to pull it completely in like a dorsiflexion and then go to the inside then go to the plantar flexion which is completely down. So I am not only stretching the ankle just by the help of the foot but I am also using my palms and the fingers to achieve this. And then the outer side. And then in and stretch it out and open it out. And then dorsiflexion in, plantar flexion out. Dorsiflexion in, plantar flexion out. Dorsiflexion in, plantar flexion out. I'm using my fingers, I'm using my left hand and the palm to increase and make it a complete and a bigger circle. And then we do it anti clockwise. We do dor plantar flexion in, dorsiflexion out. I'm using the support of my palm. Plantar flexion in, dorsiflexion out. Make the circle bigger. Let the breathing remain simple. If you want to synchronize the breathing, every time you go out, you inhale. Every time you come in, you exhale. And then release. This is the first part. Then you have to do it with the other leg. The same thing what we repeated with the right leg. Yeah. Now let's see the second simple stretch for ankle. For this particular second stretch of the ankle, we will keep six points in mind. So first, for this, I will lift my right leg up. Remember, when you do this, if you feel that the leg is becoming heavier, you cannot hold, you can always keep a stool or a chair underneath so that the leg is supported. And after coming here, you have to keep six points in mind. First, stretching the foot in. I am stretching the toes in, this is first, then left in, this is second, then left out third, then center out, fourth, then right out, fifth, and then right in, sixth, and then coming back to the center, one. The center in is one, right in 
is 2, right out is 3, center out is 4, right out is 5, right in is 6 and center. That means you're, it's like a triangle, rectangle. You cover all the 6 points of a rectangle. Then we will do it anti-clockwise. So stretching the toes in, 1, then right out, 2, so you lift the leg up, again means from this particular thing, yeah? so you lift the right leg up. Now here we have to keep one thing in mind is when the foot will move it has to cover 6 different points like a rectangle covering or touching 6 points of a rectangle. So how to do this? We stretch the right toes in towards us like a dorsiflexion, this is number 1 and then I turn the foot to the left side in, this is 2 then left out 3 then center out 4 then right out 5 then right in 6 and then center so it's for 6 points this is first in then left in 2 then left out 3 then center out 4 then right out 5 then right in 6 and coming back to center which was number 1 so this is six points and in the same way you have to do it in the anti-clockwise way by stretching the toes in and one right out in two right out three center out four right left out five left in six and then center which is again one then right in two and then right out three center out four left out five left in six and coming back to number one center in so these are the six points when you do this the movement or the range of the ankle will improve remember keeping the leg up for too long is very tiring that's why i would suggest initially you can keep something underneath like a chair or a stool so that you can relax and sit in this position and only focus on the ankle. Ankle movement is very essential because that is a pillar. Sole and the ankles are very important. If they are mobile, if the sole and the feet is flexible, if they can move the surface area of the sole and the feet is better, then the whole structure which is above can also remain better. We saw in this video two things for the ankle. The first was using the fingers to do an ankle rotation and the second one was doing the six points. Keep moving and stay healthy. Keep tuned for more videos on chair yoga. If you have any queries, any questions, please do write to us and don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Namaste.